With Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello on this wonderful Wednesday out there. When's the rain coming? Oh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll take there it. There you go. Simple answer, tomorrow morning. So that means we're going to take out the sun and soak that in today. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Morning Radar Network at 1148 on your Wednesday morning. Completely dry and we'll stay that way through today and even into overnight tonight. As a result, our views this week just keep getting better. Looking fantastic all across the Tennessee Valley and not feeling half bad either. Coming in at 72 degrees for your lunchtime temperatures in Huntsville and in Decatur. 72 as well in Scottsboro, but just a touch cooler at 71 degrees in Muscle Shoals. Either way, leave the jacket at home, but bring the sunglasses out when you head out to grab lunch this afternoon. Our high temperature today, coming around 3 o'clock, will sit in the upper 70s. This is a little bit above average and the warmest we've been all week, but even still with a nice breeze and with dew point humidity levels fairly low, conditions will still be lovely and starting to feel like a transition from spring almost into summer. As we head through the rest of our dinner time and the rest of our day, it's the perfect night to take a picnic outside or take the dog on a walk even after you eat. At 7 p.m. we'll have one or two more clouds coming into the forecast, but temperatures will still be quite mild for us in the low 70s. All right, so we have one or two clouds coming in the forecast overnight tonight, but tomorrow that leads to rain and even some storms, and that's why our southern counties in yellow here are in a level one out of five risk for severe weather. Now, our tornado threat is low. It is not zero, but it is very low. The biggest things that I'm watching with tomorrow's system are heavy rain and gusty winds of about 50 to 60 miles an hour. Let's talk about the timing. It all starts in our southwestern counties at about 8 a.m. And you'll notice that some of that very heavy rain does stay to our south, which explains why that region for risk is in our southern counties. At 1230, the system will move slightly north, bringing gustier winds and heavy rain to all of us. But by about 5 p.m., it's mostly moved out of the way. We do have some cloud cover, but at least that big uh, spot of storms is gone. It moves back into the forecast Thursday night. This puts us at 9.30 p.m. And then we really stay dry throughout the night. So it's kind of an on and off day of rain and storms. We have more rain, though, return to the forecast first thing Friday morning. This is 7 a.m. with the heaviest rain to our south. And that does track east and become more widespread Friday afternoon. So where we have the on and off on Thursday, it's more widespread rain on Friday. The good news is, though, that rain just as ready for the weekend as you and I will be. By Friday at 7 p.m., we're left with clouds, but that rain has pushed to our east and conditions will be dry to start the weekend. And speaking of the weekend, the Masters may be over, but the sun will be out and conditions will be perfect. Here's your golfer's forecast. Saturday all throughout the day will be warm and sunny with a high temperature in the low 80s. We do have a cold front move through, though, Saturday night that brings storms into the area and leftover rain first thing on Sunday morning will be cooler as a result for our high High temperature on Sunday, only making it to the upper 60s that day. But if you ask me, it's still a good day to get out on the course. All right, so one more day of the beautiful sunshine and warm temperatures today. On and off rain on Thursday, but all day rain on Friday. We're, Saturday, we're warm and sunny yet again, but then a cold front and storms move in overnight. We'll be sunny by Sunday afternoon, and we'll keep that sunshine Monday and Tuesday as well.